Hi, my fellow adventurers. Teacher Sarah here again. And with Teacher Sarah here is going to do the video guide. And our team for this video is Ocean Life. And in this team, we're going to learn some uh, ocean creature. Okay, under the water creature. Uh, uh, that lives in the ocean, that lives under the sea. Okay, so without waiting, let Teacher Sarah share screen with you. Okay, so in this team uh, is Ocean Life. So we're going to learn uh, a little bit of uh, some creature under the sea, under the sea, all right? So the first creature that we're going to learn for this lesson is, let me show you, can you guess what creature is this? Some of you may think is starfish. That is not starfish. Hmm, some of you may say or may guess is octopus. Hmm, let's see. Is it octopus that we are going to learn in this video? Yes, you are right. If those that guess octopus, you are absolutely right. We are learning about octopus. Oh, it's for octopus. Oh, oh, octopus. Yes, okay. So what do you know about octopus? Well, we do know that octopus has eight legs or eight arms, right? Eight, and the octopus go wiggle, 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 wiggle. And he has this big bulbous head, really big, round, long head. And there's a reason why they have this big bulbous head. Wonder why? It is because to, they have nine brains. Octopus has nine brains let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine nine brains they, they are big boss hey uh, and then what else do they have they have three hearts here one two three another thing about octopus is their blood is blue in color yeah not red but blue all right, so what else do we want to know about octopus? Fun facts about octopus. Well, they squeak out ink, like um, what? <laughs> when they are scared or in fear or feel that there is danger, they will start to squeak out ink, black, black ink, like that. Boop, boop, boop. Then it will come out black ink. <laughs> okay, and octopus are boneless. They do not have bone. See how flexible they are, swimming, wiggling floating in the water, yeah, they do not have any bones, okay? So what else do you know about octopus? Since they do not have bones, they can squeeze into tight spaces. You see how it squeezes into really, really narrow and tight spaces? In and out, let's see again, let me show you again. See how they squeeze, when they can sense danger, they try to squeeze in really tight, tight hole. To, to keep themselves safe from danger, all right? So that oops, okay, that's all. <laughs> okay, let me stop share. So today, our creativity, we're going to do about octopus. So teacher Sarah is going to show you what um, materials you need to bring out from the craft box. And in this video guide, teacher Sarah is going to teach you how to draw an octopus, okay? Uh, so, see you in the next camera. I'm going to show you this step by step video how to draw the octopus. So, hi children, Teacher Sarah here again. So, what you need to bring out from your craft box is your art block. The teacher wrote that octopus. Okay, uh, what you need from home is your pencil, your coloring tools. What you want to use, colour pencil, crayon, oil pastel, paints, it's really up to you. Uh, what other things that you need uh, from the craft box is you can bring out this uh, colour patch as well. Since we are doing some painting, you do need uh, water and brush as well. Okay, so shall we go into our drawing now? We're going to draw an octopus. So in our lesson just now, okay, let's begin drawing up. Now, lesson just now, we learned about the octopus have big bulbous head, right? So, let's draw a big bulbous head, okay? To draw this, 
some of you may uh, have hard time drawing the really big towards it what you can do is put your hands here okay put your whole five arm of uh, hand or arm hand and fingers here make it open big and try to use the pencil and draw a big round shape here big curve big curve okay big curve right? can you do that okay teacher already draw but what you can do is you put your hand here and try don't draw the fingers just draw a big curve big balloon curve with flats okay all right big balloon curve can you see can you can see the big balloon curve again huh? big balloon curve all right all right don't draw in don't don't have to follow your fingers don't have to follow your fingers to draw the big balloon curve all right and then once you're done here this is the head this is the head now we're going to draw the legs so octopus has how many legs again eight legs correct so we're going to draw eight legs so one leg here you can draw one up curve and then come back here this one leg come back here okay curve come back here so from this curve here draw another curve here two come back here like a banana three four Four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So once you done that, what is missing? Can we add your octopus eye? We start drawing the eyebrow first. Okay, I want to draw an angry octopus eye. So I'm just going to draw my eyebrow like that. Hmm? This is not angry. This worried. Okay, worried octopus. If angry, the eyebrow will be like this, the other way around. Okay, this is a worried. Very worried, very concerned octopus. The eye inside here, alright? And the mouth. So what octopus emotion you want? What emotion octopus you want? Let me erase this. What emotion octopus you want? It's really up to you. Don't have to follow teacher Sarah. You want to follow teacher Sarah also can. You don't want to also can. My octopus look really worried. <laughs> so if you want an angry octopus, what you could do is the eyebrow is different. It's like this. Angry is like this. Oh, then it looks angry, right? But I want I I pre, I kind of like the octopus look worried. So I'm gonna draw my eyebrow this way. Alright, I'm gonna draw my eyebrow in this way. What about yours? Really up to you. Okay, you want to follow teacher Sarah? You can follow teacher Sarah. You want to draw your own, you can draw your very own. Okay, so I finished drawing my octopus. I'm going to, I'm just gonna add some you know at the bottom here, some maybe some stones, some ocean rocks. Just, just gonna add a little bit uh, some of the scenery. Alright, just gonna add here. Um, okay. You can ready. Okay, maybe I wanna add some seaweed here. Seaweed or chorus here. Octopus so big, don't have, don't really have much space. And then what else I want to add? I may want to add bubble. Breathing. Okay. You want to add other things? You can add on. Not necessary. Can uh, not necessary to follow teacher Sarah. All right. Okay. Let's go into coloring now. So I'm just going to do my coloring. So for the colouring, I'm going to use, as usual, my silky crayon, my silky crayon. So I'm going to colour my octopus. What colour octopus should I colour? Hmm, what do you think? What octopus should I colour? Okay, I'm just going to put the side here. So I can do my colouring. Hmm, let me see. I feel like colour, red colour. Red colour octopus. So what I'm going to bring out is red. A lighter version of red and 
even lighter version of red would be pink pink so these three colors are bringing up yeah so if you want to do blending what you can do is uh take the lighter version let's say you choose blue you want something that is uh, dark blue lighter blue and even lighter blue all right if you want green you can choose dark green lighter green and perhaps yellow all right for the blending so let's go into the coloring now so what i usually like to do is i can draw i color the so-called outline first i draw the outline and i color the outline color it thick thick all right the thick outline so i finish color the the head and then i do the legs legs mm -hmm. drawing up the legs color up the so-called outline of the legs mm -hmm. push it up Again, you want to follow teacher Sarah, you can, but if you want to do your own, please do your own, okay? So here's the legs. Here. I've got four legs here already. So I have another four legs to go. Legs to go up to turn last leg. See, can you see? I just do the outline. I use the darker color to do the outline first. All right, oops, this one's thick. Okay, and then let's close this up. Next thing, I use the a lighter version of red to color the second layer. Okay, to color the second layer. Mm -hmm. Okay, just color the eyebrow one. Later, we will use the black color oil pastel or crayon to do the outline, alright? Uh -huh. This is the second layer. Alright. So, as you can see, I don't color fully. Let's do the second layer only. Mm -hmm. I leave some space there to color the lighter red, which is pink color. Mm -hmm. Finish up here. Mm -hmm. Try to finish up here. Here, finishing. when you mix uh, mix what uh, red and white is pink so pink is actually the light version of red yeah it's a light version of red so so left that inside I'll color all pink okay so I will try to blend it together with the red Blend it together, blend it together, blend it together. Mm -hmm. Blend, blend, blend. Yep. Color inside. Okay. Oh no. I color my octopus red. Huh? What color mouth should I color for the octopus? <laughs> Cannot color red already. You have to use other color. What do you think? What color should I color for the mouth? For the mouth. Mm. Later we shall figure out what color should we color, okay? So yeah, let me color inside here. Blend it together. Blend it together. 
already got some white spots yeah all right yay it's done try to color some white spots mm. okay yep 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 done done yeah, that's my octopus. Blend it to the with the red. Blend it together. Okay, finish my octopus. Yay! So I'm gonna keep this tree back. So next, what color mouth should I color? I decided to use orange. So I'm just gonna color the mouth orange. Here, orange mouth. And then this one inside here is going to use yellow. Don't have to follow teacher Sarah. You can always color your own, right? And then next thing for the eye, obviously, is black. So I'm just going to do the eyebrow. Look so worried, nah? Look so scared, nah, This octopus. Why this octopus look so scared, nah? Maybe there's. A uh, shark coming. The shark eat octopus. Okay. Okay. It looks really, really scared and worried. This octopus. Maybe he lost his mummy. <laughs> Could it be? Okay. Just gonna do the outline for this mouth as well. Ah. All right. So I done that. So next. I'm going to do is I'm going to color the rocks here so for the rocks I would like to use brown color I have two brown here one is the dark brown and one is the light brown so again I will draw the outline first here here alright draw the outline first and then I color it Inside with the lighter brown. Mm -hmm. Alright. Do you see? My, my stones, my rocks at the bottom of the sea. So when the octopus feels that there's danger, what should this octopus do? Try to squeeze into the rock, the small, small uh, space, and hide. Hmm, I guess the octopus should do that, right? Remember in the lesson just now, one of the fun facts about octopus, octopus is bonus. They are able to squeeze into really, really tight space, right? Okay, next I'm going to do finish up doing the seaweed. The green seaweed, of course. It's going to do different uh, green, dark green, light green here, and then one more. I'm going to use another green. the CV and the last part is the bubble so use blue oops uh, to do the bubbles so gonna use circle remember draw the outline and go circle 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 circular 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 and then the big one circular 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 and then yeah, my hands broken. Oh no, cannot see. Oh no. Okay, so what I did was okay, I turn the other way around. So what I did was I do circular, circular, and then to do the bubble. Right? Okay. You can see. Oh 
and then the octopus. And then next, for the background, I'm just going to paint it with this watercolor, okay? I'm going to get my brush and my water and finish up with the painting. Brush, I have my paint, I have my paint I put here, and I have my water. So let's uh, finish up by painting. Okay, yeah. So let's paint from top to bottom, right? Top to bottom. Can you see? Mm, I have to push down the paper a bit. So you can see my painting. So I'm gonna paint from top to bottom. Mm. Remember left, right, left, right, left, right, all right? Left, right, left, right. Mm -hmm. Oopsie, my brush bit the teeth. Sarah went quiet a while. <laughs> I took a thing. I'm trying to focus the color. Okay. Try not to color the octopus. Oh, see, my brush is dirty already. See, it got a big red stain. But it's okay, uh, children. Alright. Okay, trying to color one direction. One direction. this side here. Shall I try use this side? I hope you're following now. Okay, push, push, push the colors. Push the blue color, the pin. Push the side. Hmm? Okay. Turn the inside. Careful. Try not to stain the brush again. On the inside. Hmm. Alright. On the inside. Alright. Okay, this side here are almost okay. This side here. The bus has so many legs, it makes it super bit challenging here. Oh no, my brush is dirty again. Mm, slowly. Slow and steady. I'm trying to color slow and steady. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, finish the top part now. Going down. <gasps> okay, my brush. Oh no, my brush. I have to wash my brush. Hmm. Okay. be a challenge here yeah, this part here yeah. so you really have to color slow and steady oh no okay slow don't rush into it please don't rush into it okay if teacher Sarah is too fast you can always pause my video right if teacher Sarah is too fast pause my video oops hit the phone the tripod ah uh, this part here uh, slowly if you need a break you can take a break as well no hurry in doing your arts and craft okay when it comes to art and craft is there's no hurry all right so i'm gonna push 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 the pin towards the side Yes, that's it. 
Hey, I'm done. I'm actually done. Yep. And that's it. <gasps> Ta da! Hey. Do you think my octopus is nice? <gasps> Simple and nice, huh? So do share with teacher Sarah. Once you are done, alright? You can either WhatsApp me or you share and tag me in teachers, uh, teachers uh, social media in my Instagram or in my TikTok, okay? Then I do see you again for the next lesson. Ta-ta!